now let us discuss about break statement continue statement as well as uh, labeled break and uh, labeled continue statements in javascript first let us see about break statement it is similar to what we have seen in the c programming <coughs> so whenever break statement is executed inside a loop or inside a switch then that loop execution will be terminated so let's see this example for i equal to 1 i less than or equal to 10 i plus plus if i double equal to 5 break if the condition is false then display i value okay then display i value and then close the for loop and close the script tag so this is an example for the break statement so the initial value of i is 1 1 is less than or equal to 10 yes condition is true 1 double equal to 5 condition is false so i value will be printed i is equal to 1 in the next iteration i becomes 2 Two double equal to five. Condition is false, so control comes out from the for loop. Control comes out from the if, so i value will be printed. I is equal to two. Next i becomes three. Three less than or equal to ten. As condition is true, so body will be executed. Three double equal to five. Condition is false, so control comes out from the if, and i is equal to three. Three will be printed. Next i is equal to four will be printed. Next i becomes five. Phi double equal to phi. Condition is true, so break statement will be executed. Whenever break statement is executed, then the control comes out from the for. That means that for loop execution will be terminated. So the control comes out from this for loop. So there is no statement after the for loop. So let us write a statement like this. So printf here the output is very very important. Okay, printf uh, h1 tag. so that the content will be displayed in uh, uh, in uh, some uh, larger font sizes and in uh, bold style bold style so what is the output now 1 2 3 4 and the end of the program so let us see the output here let us see the output let us run the program let us run the program yeah some mistakes are there let us identify those mistakes let us identify those mistakes print off so this is not c programming language this is javascript so document dot document dot write off here only one uh, one double quotation need to be opened now let us run the program let us run the program so i is equal to 1 2 3 4 end of the program now let us see about a continue statement so in place of break use continue that is the only modification when continue statement is executed then in the iteration the body will be won't be executed so the remaining statements after the continue in the iteration won't be executed but the loop execution continues with next iteration so first i is equal to 1 so 1 will be printed next i is equal to 2 2 will be printed next i is equal to 3 will be printed next i is equal to 4 will be printed next i becomes 5 5 double equal to 5 so continue will be executed so whenever continue is executed then the remaining statements in the iteration won't be executed so that means i is equal to 5 that statement won't be printed but the loop execution continues with next iteration <coughs> so, so next i value is 6 so 6 less than or equal to 10 yes condition is true so the remaining uh, values 6 7 8 9 will be printed so now what is the output i is equal to 1 to 4 next uh, i is equal to 6 to 10 end of the program so let us see the output let us see the output so i is equal to yeah some mod some minor mistake so if i double equal to 5 continue 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 let us save the program if i double equal to 5 mm -hmm, yeah there is no mistake let us see the program execution Yeah, i is equal to one to four, and after that, when i is equal to five, that i value won't be printed. Next, i is equal to six to ten, end of the program. Now let us see about labeled break and labeled continue statement. Labeled break means labeled break means the syntax here is very very simple. Here we have to use label label colon 
within the curly braces we need to write the statements okay so what is the syntax here we have to use label so label label next to colon next we need to use curly braces so within the curly braces within the curly braces we have to write the body so whenever we use break label then what will happen is then the control comes out from this entire loop so this is the advantage of the break label so here we have label label means an identifier so whenever break label statement is executed then the entire label execution will be terminated so that means the control comes out from this entire label block label block now let us see with the help of an example so here next next is the label next to colon within the curly braces so this is the end of that label uh, next let us see the body uh, for i equal to 1 i less than or equal to 5 i plus plus for j equal to 1 j less than or equal to i j plus plus okay so initially j value is 1 i value is 1 1 less than or equal to 1 as condition is true next 1 double equal to 3 condition is false so control comes out from the if so j value will be printed what is j value in the first iteration 1 so 1 will be printed next in the second iteration j becomes 2 so what is the output for this program so initially 1 will be printed so initially 1 will be printed so next what is the output in the second iteration i will become 2 i will become 2 next for j is equal to 1 j less than or equal to i so 1 less than or equal to 2 as condition is true so 1 double equal to 3 false 2 double equal to 3 false so what will happen now 1 and 1 2 will be printed 1 and 1 2 will be printed <coughs> next next yeah every time what will happen whenever the control comes out from the innermost for loop so this body will be printed end of the innermost loop end of the innermost loop so this body will also be printed okay next next i will become 3 i will become 3 i will become 3 3 less than or equal to 5 as condition is true next j is equal to 1 j less than or equal to i 1 less than or equal to 3 s condition is true so next 1 double equal to 3 false so next 1 will be printed next to 2 will be printed next to j will become 3 3 double equal to 3 so then what will happen break continue so here what is the output 1 and 2 got printed 1 and 2 got printed next to j becomes 3 j becomes 3 3 double equal to 3 condition is true so break continue so break next break next so here what is this next so now the control comes out from this entire next label okay so what is the next statement after this one end of the program so end of the program will be printed so one end of the innermost loop one two end of the innermost loop next to one two end of the program now let us see whether our whether our program is correct or not so this is labeled break program so if you observe here one j is equal to one end of the innermost loop next j is equal to 1 to end of the innermost loop next j is equal to 1 to end of the program so this is the this is about labeled break now let us see about labeled continue the syntax for the labeled continue is very very simple but here we should not use curly braces there is no need of any curly braces for label continue so in place of break let us use continue in place of break let us use continue next here we didn't use the curly brace so there is no need to close the curly brace so control s so whenever this continue nest will be executed then what will happen is the control comes out from this next innermost loop but <coughs> but the loop execution continues with next iteration so that means first what will happen first <coughs> one will be printed next end of the innermost loop will be printed next one two will be printed next end of the innermost will be printed next 1 2 will be printed and after that j is equal to 3 so continue next means the loop execution continues with next iteration what is the next j value next i value <coughs> i value is 4 so the loop execution continues with 4 so when i is equal to 1 this is the output when i is equal to 2 this is the output when i is equal to 3 this is the output but when i is equal to 3 then what will happen is the control doesn't come out from the innermost loop. Why? Because when I, when I is equal to 3, then here what is happening? First j becomes 1, next j becomes 2, next j becomes 3. So whenever continue next is executed, then the <coughs> control goes to the next iteration of i. 
<coughs> so now i become 4 so next i become 4 so when i is equal to 4 1 will be printed 2 will be printed next when i is equal to 5 1 will be printed 2 will be printed next end of the program will be printed so this is about uh, labeled continue so whenever that labeled continue is executed then the execution continues with next iteration of that uh, label okay here after the statement this is the for loop okay now let us see the program output <coughs> <coughs> So when i is equal to 1, so this is the output. When i is equal to 2, this is the output. Next, next, when i is equal to 3, when i is equal to 3, this is the output. This is the output. When i is equal to 4, this is the output. When i is equal to 5, this is the output. Next end of the program. Here, in addition to the program, what is more important is output. So we have to write the output uh, in the descriptive examination. Output is very, very important. So this is about break, continue, labeled break and labeled continue statement in JavaScript.